I was born in a multi-generational family. We lacked for a lot of material things, but you wouldn't know it. We were surrounded by uh, a family that was uh, loving. These people were very much marked by their early years of being uh, Armenians living in Turkey and during the genocide had to leave and, and run for their lives. And my siblings and I were the, 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 the generation that was going to uh, suddenly uh, release this family from its poverty and its, uh, and its hardship. And it was also made very clear that the only path was education. So that was my early childhood. The resulting strong, family-infused sense of purpose launched Tony Hakim's professional journey, first to Alberta as a chemical engineer, and then, with the aid of serendipity, on into medicine and research at the Montreal Neurological Institute. And it was at the Montreal Neurological Institute that I became exposed to this condition called stroke, where a patient, an individual, would be completely normal walking around and suddenly he would be irreversibly devastated with a stroke that would rub them, rob them of their ability to walk or talk. He did some very uh, important and uh, innovative research on brain metabolism, uh, particularly related to brain ischemia. We very quickly learned that the patient's symptoms were arising from two very different brain functions. One was a part of the brain that had stopped breathing, had died. But the other part, the most interesting part, was a part of the brain that was just holding its breath. It was alive, but it wasn't functioning very well. Stroke was a hopeless disease, very feared. If you had a large stroke, you died. Both our laboratory studies and clinical trials outside came up with this clot buster, which if given in a short period of time after a stroke, uh, would in fact reverse some of the deficits. He gave a presentation to our board soon after I started, and I just found it an astonishing presentation. He talked about the burden of stroke, uh, the uh, lack of care facilities for stroke patients. The, the population had to be educated that this was a preventable, treatable, and repairable condition. Uh, with the Canadian Stroke Network, they have set up a series of guidelines and uh, uh, ways of uh, managing stroke uh, that are the model for the world, actually. The patient has to recognize that they have a stroke. They have to call a paramedic who has to give them the enormous priority, sirens blazing and lights on to go and pick up the patient, to an emergency room that learns that the patient is coming and so sets itself up to receive this patient, get the imaging done, get the drug uh, running. By his vision and working with partners and bringing everybody together, bring huge resources into this that um, really has changed the face of stroke. He gets the credit for doing that. A tireless, focused researcher, superior builder of national medical intervention capacity, and a giant among the world's top neurologists. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Antoine Hakim.